We've seen the writing on the wall. Aliens are coming to the Fortnite Island in Chapter 2, Season 7. But before we get there, we need to give you the rundown on just what the heck is happening in Season 6. The Spire, The Foundation, Batman Zero. Strap in because we've got the lowdown on all of them and the scoop on the upcoming villainous being known as Spire Immortal. This season started off with the Zero Crisis event where we were introduced to the Foundation. It was chaos. Agent Jones went rogue on the IO and then the leader of the Seven, the Foundation, crash landed on the island from a familiar meteor. The two forged an alliance and Jonesy promised to introduce the Foundation to Geno and the sisters, who we still have yet to see or hear more about. Next, the Zero Point bloomed and shot portals out everywhere, which our two protagonists set out to contain. At the end of the event, the Foundation sacrificed himself to seal off the Zero Point and has been trapped inside ever since. Throughout the season, we've received little hints that alluded to the Foundation's activity, including mysterious broadcasts over car radios, as well as the Spire itself producing different noises. It's been a little freaky. This also caused the Spire assassin to come about, which was the boss character that protected the Spire from intruders. That point is where the narrative of the season gets tricky, because we still don't know how the Spire was conjured in the first place, or even what it's made from. Surely the Foundation knows, but we can't ask him at the moment. Is the Spire the property of the Imagined Order, or is it out of their control? They created the loop after all, and will stop at nothing to keep it intact. What still remains a big mystery is why the island has been overlaid with primal elements from the changing of the biomes to the introduction of animals and the plethora of dinosaur bones scattered everywhere to include actual raptors running around. Let's dive deep into the lore surrounding the Spire and investigate this new titan of a character, the Spire Immortal. The main quest line of Season 6 begins with you bringing an artifact to Tirana. When you talk to her, she promises to give you a device in exchange for an artifact. The artifact you have to secure has a photo of Agent Jones in it. Once you bring Tirana the artifact in exchange for a device, surprise! She tells you that it has been stolen by Raz. Next, you have to go talk to Raz, and what do you know? You have to do some quests for him. As you explore, you can hear Agent Jones on the radio if you enter primal areas of the map. Shh, don't touch that dial. You will be required to talk to all different kinds of Jonesy skins around the map. While most of the John Jones characters don't know anything about the Spire, some hint at how the loop works. Characters like Scuba Jonesy reveal that all the different Jonesies are instances or snapshots of the same man. He says, I came here on a mission to study the Zero Point, but once you're in the loop, you're just an echo of who you once were. Some even start to get their memories mixed together like Cabby. At one point, you will find an audio log of Agent Jones recorded before he entered the loop. You will also pick up an artifact along the way that looks like a miniature model of the Spire. A third important quest item you will retrieve will be a necklace dropped by a Spire Guardian, which has the IO logo on it. This again raises the question, do the Spire Guardians answer to the IO, or are the IO beholden to the protectors of the Spire? Over the course of the season, pink crystals begin popping out of the base of the Spire. You will get a special pickaxe used for striking these crystals, which release data through the form of vibrations for you to collect. There is also a Raz quest that lets you use a device to drill into one of the Spire launch pads that reveals the foundation saying, Jones knows. The final Jones you talk to is ironically Jonesy the First. He states, there are people who think the Spire will make them powerful. It will, but it will also exploit their every weakness. Do not allow the Spire to corrupt someone powerful or Jones does not stand a chance. This foreshadows Raz being corrupted by the Spire and becoming evil, which happens while you are busy on your quests. Raz gets a hold of a pink Spire artifact, which turns out to be a shard from Kevin the Cube. Then he goes dark, 
literally, he becomes Glyph Master Raz. And once you're able to defeat this difficult new boss, you can take his Pink Spire artifact from him. Does this mean there will be an even tougher boss to come along? In our minds, the answer is a resounding yes. We predict that none other than the leaked skin Spire Immortal will take over that role. This guy looks like a Spire Assassin on steroids. Is he her husband? Brother? Father? Snapshot? Well, his description reads that he is the Spire's final nightmare. We imagine this big bad fellow will be the ultimate boss you have to fight at the end of Season 6, and may even lead to the release of the Foundation. But then what happens to the Spire? Will it crumble? Will the Zero Point be exposed again? This is where the introduction of Aliens in Season 7 comes into play. Over the past couple of months, we have seen a lot of map changes to the island. Many barricades have been built around areas including Pleasant Park, Misty Meadows, Sweaty Sands, and Retail Row. These fortifications have been constructed using items such as traffic cones, tires, fences, and even animal bones and skulls. We at first thought this meant giant creatures were going to invade the island at the end of the season, which in all of Fortnite's unpredictability may very well still happen. Though now we are confident enough to say that aliens will be visiting the island in Season 7. We know this because signs have been popping up around these fortifications showing aliens interacting with humans, and you know Epic likes to drop hints about what is to come. There have also been multiple telescopes appearing around the island. The first telescope appeared in Misty Meadows, though was nothing unusual since the telescope was normal sized. Now there are literal foreshadowing quests that require you to repair large stargazing telescopes at seven locations around the map. You can speak to Bunker Jonesy to inquire further. It seems he knows more than he leads you to believe. You can also investigate a downed black helicopter across from Misty Meadows for one of the quests. What could have caused it to crash? Um, I don't know, maybe alien laser beams? There's one last strange occurrence we would like to mention, and it is clear that it leads into the Season 7 storyline. Have you visited Colossal Crops lately? If you have, you probably noticed that the crops are gone. Supposedly, when they grow back, they will have crop circles carved into them. It's a clear sign from above. Speaking of, let's talk about the Batman Fortnite Zero Point crossover. Let's go over what we know. Batman began his journey in Gotham City. He was chasing down Harley Quinn and noticed a great rift in the sky. Harley Quinn jumped into the portal and while Batman was trying to analyze what the anomaly was, he was pushed in by some mysterious foe. When Bruce Wayne's consciousness awakened, he realized he could neither speak nor remember anything. Then the storm came and the loop reset, which rocked Batman's world once again. He eventually respawned in a new set of armor, the Batman Zero outfit, which alluded to him being stuck in the loop for quite some time. Who knows how long it took to craft that armor? He then found writing on his arms that gave him clues about the loop resetting every 22 minutes. Alas, Batman came to understand Battle Royale little by little. After a while, he constructed the Bat Shack, complete with books, a chalkboard, a ticking clock, and a llama pinata plushie. He met up with Catwoman in issue number one and again in number two, but he couldn't remember who she was, so he gave her a batarang as a totem to bring back the memory of their meeting the next time the loop reset. They then fight their way through matches of Fortnite, crushing the onslaught of enemies before them, and soon realize the center of the storm is a safe place, so they battle across the island to their temporary destination. It's a tear-jerking moment when they realize there can be only one survivor who can escape the loop. They kiss, and it's as romantic as ever. <laughs> I got butterflies in my stomach. Catwoman then stabs Batman and disappears to her own fate, while Batman goes into another match of Fortnite. As fate would have it, Batman meets Snake Eyes, and the two fighters duke it out to the death every time they meet. Eventually, they have a confrontation where Batman tells Snake Eyes he needs to win so he can escape. Finally, Batman is able to leave the loop. However, the plot thickens. Once Batman successfully escapes the loop, he is confronted by Deathstroke, who is holding Catwoman hostage. Great calamity, Batman! 
What a cliffhanger! We can't wait to see what will happen next. Issue number four of the comic run will come out next week on June 1st, which means it will give us more clues as to what comes in season seven. It has already been leaked that in issue five of the comics, Batman and his crew travel down into IO bunkers, and they stand over what seems to be the zero point reflecting bright light onto their faces. But do you think Batman will be able to discover these secret IO bunkers on his own, or will he receive help from a man by the name of John Jones. We know Jonesy has to make an appearance in the Fortnite comics, or else they would just seem incomplete. Will Batman also help the Foundation escape from the Spire? Will the Foundation help Batman escape from Fortnite Island? Will they both be involved in battling the Spire Immortal? When the heck are we going to meet Jeno and the sisters? Hopefully soon. Until then, we'll see you next time.